Vivo has a tool for veterinary doctors to manage osteoarthritis in horses and dogs. And with me is the CEO, John Lai, to bring us up to date on the company. Great to have you back here at the NASDAQ. Very happy to be back. So uh, you were talking about how some veterinarians have this product and they have discovered other uses for it. So tell me about that. What are these uses? Yeah, every time we go to a conference, uh, we have vets coming up and saying, well, we used it for this, we used it for that, and we're getting really good results, and we love hearing those ideas. We, we think of all these, but we can't just keep doing studies on everything, you know? So it's good to have real-world applications come to us. And one of the interesting ones was a recent conference we had in Charleston, South Carolina, on rehab veterinary medicine. Uh, some of the vets came to us and said, we've been using you know, bone marrow stem cells and getting great results, but the problem is the stem cells dissipate from the area of treatment, 80% of them within 24 hours. And they were thinking if we use your platform, because one of your clinical research work that you did with the NIH money we got was using our platform to disseminate drugs and other products into the body. They said, do you think it would work with the stem cells holding in place, we would get much better results. And we said, well, we actually did that for some animals and it worked really well. Mm -hmm. So we're excited to see what the feedback is from them on that application, but we love the veterinary field because they're thinking how we can use this in other applications. There's some innovation <laughs> going on out yeah. of the field, it sounds like. Oh, it's great. It's other. great, yeah. Okay, so you mentioned Charleston. So that's your most recent conference. That was a rehab conference. So yeah. um, tell me about that a little bit and how was Pet Vivo received? So we were the platinum sponsor because we had a couple of vets that really been using our product almost two years and they were the key speakers. So we decided to sponsor and then within the uh, presentations and wet labs they you know brought out how they were using spring the success mm -hmm. they were having so these conferences are one of the key drivers for veterinary adoption in the field because vets like hearing from other vets their success stories and it makes them feel much more comfortable to use the product yeah let's talk about the spring product a little bit just for people who aren't familiar with it how does it work sure so we developed a protein particle matrix that mimics cartilage and tissue and these are naturally derived products. So the base proteins are collagen, elastin, and the carbohydrate that binds everything is heparin. Those are the building blocks of human tissue or animal tissue. And because of that, we've been declared on the human side as a, as a human medical device because it doesn't create anything different. And the function, the mechanic, it's a mechanical function that makes it work. Mm -hmm. So when the particles go into the joint, it basically starts to form a scaffolding. It mimics the cartilage that used to be there, so it functions just like cartilage, but it's wet and lubricious, so it helps lubricate the joint every time the animal's moving. Yeah, interesting. Um, okay, so uh, cats. So I, I mentioned dogs and horses. Cats is another potential application, and you have a study coming out on that soon. Yeah, yeah, it should okay. be around July. We'll okay. be presenting at one of the conferences. Uh, the interesting thing is, I talked up earlier about vets using it on different projects and functions, and quite a few cats have, I mean, vets have injected cats and okay. they're doing extremely <laughs> well. So we're very happy about that. And with the increase in education about, to the consumers on how to identify osteoarthritis in your cat. It's really cool tests, red flag tests. So watching your cat coming off a table, how they respond is a very good clue if they're developing osteoarthritis because diagnosing osteoarthritis within cats is very difficult. Cats, when they have an issue, they're very good at hiding it. Hmm. They just avoid that action or they just sleep. Okay. And everybody thinks my cat's getting older, they're just sleeping more, but they really aren't. But if they're you, really in pain. Yeah, if you yeah. treat it, uh, they will come back and be like they were five, 10 years younger. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and you have a new director. So tell me about that individual. Yes, so we brought in uh, Spencer Brightup. He was vice president of sales and supply chain at MWI Animal Health, our exclusive distributor. So he really knows how the product's going through the channel network. And he retired and took a little convincing of his wife mm. that he 
could, he, I won't take up much of his time. Okay, yeah. So his wife said, okay. So he joined our board probably about a month ago. So he's got 30, I mean, a lot of years in the veterinary field. And, you know, MWI was for animal health does $5 billion a year just in the United States. He's also chairman of the Animal Health Technology Corridor, which has about 26, 27 high level technology companies in the animal health space. And he's chairman of that organization, which, you know, speaks volumes because, you know, for him, to come on the board of our company, I, I think is a good endorsement, you know, because he truly believes we're gonna help a lot of animals and a lot of people over time. Yeah, okay, well, John, thanks so much for coming back. I, I want you to come back after the cat study, come so we can find out. Absolutely, goes, I mean, so. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Thank you, Jane. Thank you so much.